All right, so I made a simple shop in one of my classes, and I thought it'd be pretty cool to put it on the marketplace so you guys could use it. And I'll show you how to configure it in this video. So you just go up there, you see the bell? Oh man, you can put a little sign on there like a billboard GUI. Oh, look at that. And then maybe I want to get a fabulous lemon. Cool, it's 2,000 points. There is a leaderboard in this. So this will be only configuration, you won't have to do any coding. I'm gonna buy it, oh, now we got a lemon. That's pretty cool. Or you could buy something else maybe. You might not want a lemon, right? You might want a classic sword. Cooler, way cooler. Sweet. And you can add things to this really easy. Let's go ahead and get started. I have an empty base plate right here and I recommend you trying this out on an empty base plate. Anything you do new, it should be empty until you know how to do it before you go into your production game. So let's go to our website. There we go. I'll put this link in the description. We'll get the shop and I'll show you how to configure it. So I already have the shop, of course, but this will say get model for you because you don't have it. Click on it and then when we go back to our game, if you go to your toolbox, you will see shop somewhere in there, probably near the top. So we'll go ahead and get our shop. Yep, 11 scripts, I was busy. And it's not quite where I want it. Let me move it. Just move it a little bit. And put collisions on so I can bump it into the ground. And perhaps center it a little bit more. All right, so these are the items. I just have them floating around. I'm going to show you how to do that, how to fix that. Let's open the shop. And I have a README script that you can, uh, that you can read. It has some, some short instructions. Not too hard to follow. But I'm going to show you how to do everything. So look at this folder that says move these, right? That should cue you off. You're like, oh, I got to move that. I'm going to open that move these. And these are my items. I have the classic slingshot, fabulous lemon, and simple pistol. And we're going to add, we're going to add an item too to show you how to add items. And then we're going to get the shop RE. Those four things are going to go to replicated storage. Let's do that now. I'm just going to Scroll down here a little bit. Where's my replicated storage? There it is. So all those four things are in replicated storage. Let's go back. And then I have a simple leaderboard. Let's grab that. I'm going to move that down to server script service. Server script service. If we take a look at the simple leaderboard, what I do is I check to make sure the person doesn't already have a leaderboard. If they do, I just add points to it because we're going to use points for our currency. So you can, you can blend this with yours. Just add the things you need. We're going to need points, but I just did some checks to make sure that I didn't mess up your board. If you already had one, the downside is if your board isn't flexible and this is read in first, you're still going to get an error. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to mess with that a little bit. All right, let's go back up and we're going to get the screen GUI. All right, let's drag our screen GUI down. And we're going to put that in starter GUI. And that's all the shop stuff, right? We got a lot of shop stuff in here. All right, let's play it. See what we got. And here's our shop. And we'll go ahead and click on this. Bang. And I have the text as scaled. So you can actually fix the text to be a certain, to be a certain size if you want. Let's take a look at our fabulous lemon, 2,000 points. I gave you guys 5,000. This came with the shop. It's what we moved into server script service. We'll buy it. Subtracted our 3,000 points, and now we got a lemon. Sweet. Now let's say we want to add stuff to the shop. So we'll go to our stop button, and I'm going to go back to my base plate. I'm going to go to the toolbox marketplace and I'm going to grab a weapon. Look, here we have weapons. All right, and then I'm going to get a Roblox weapon because I trust them more. So we got this Roblox weapon. I'm going to drag that in there. Yep. Okay. And let's get our Roblox sword. What do we call that? Classic sword. There it is. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. Drag that into replicated storage. So remember, it's called classic sword. Maybe I'll copy that name. Control C. I'm going to go down to my shop. Look for where it says items frame. 
right? So you can make the shop visible if you want, if you want to look at it, visible. There we go. And the items frame are, is going to be the stuff here. And it's a scrolling frame, so you could add a lot of things. On the items frame, I'm going to open it up. And these do not have to be named uniquely. I'm going to do a control D to duplicate the item two button. Notice that there's already two of them, so it doesn't have to be unique. I'm going to open this up. Under item name, the value must equal the name that's in replicated storage. There we go. Now we want the image too, right? We want the image that'll show up right here. So let's go back to our replicated storage, find the classic sword. We're going to look for the texture ID. Oh, look at that. It's right here. Do a control C to get the texture ID of the classic sword. It's on the tool itself. It's the, it's the little image that shows down here when you, when you have it in your backpack. I'm going to go to item or image ID right here on my item. And I'll just paste it. Uh, let me delete all that. Paste it. Cool. And then we just set the price. Eh, what well, should we make it? 3000 Same price as the lemon. I think that's what the lemon is. Let's try it out. That's it. Oh, we have to we have to make this invisible again. So go to your shop frame. Check, uncheck visible, and then we'll play it. Yeah, it's going up. Bang, classic sword. Bye. Pretty good. And we don't save things off, but it wouldn't be hard. All you have to do is save off your backpack stuff and then uh, re-equip them when he comes into the game.